a mother and her two kids dead. The suspect in the triple murder in Canyon City could face the death penalty if convicted. Jacob Van Winkle faces charges of first degree murder, kidnapping, and sexual assault. Cardio News Channel 13's Emily Allen looks into the use of capital punishment in our state, a topic that stirs plenty of debate. Emily? James and Heather Van Winkle's case is one of two high profile cases in Southern Colorado where prosecutors could pursue the death penalty if a guilty verdict is reached. The other case involves Harry Maps. He's accused of killing Kim and Reginald Tuttle and their daughter Don Roderick before setting their home on fire. That happened in Rye in November. The Pueblo District Attorney's Office hasn't decided if it will seek the death penalty, but history reveals the death penalty is rarely carried out in Colorado. His senior picture. A mother who has never forgotten her son and a father who tries every day to make his son proud. What would Eric want? These parents both lost their sons to violence, but they have very different opinions about placing someone on death row. Pam Kinslow's 20 year old son Tommy was shot to death outside their home. His killer hasn't been found. I think anybody that commits murder should be put to death. Robert Ottoby's son Eric was a prison guard beat to death by an inmate. He has forgiven his son's killer and fought to make sure he wouldn't be put to death. The death penalty is nothing but a hate crime, and it's a crime against humanity. There have been 78 executions in Colorado since it was instituted. The latest execution was in 1997. Gary Lee Davis was put to death for kidnapping, raping, and killing a buyer's woman in 1986. Nathan Dunlap is on death row. He was going to be executed for killing four people at an Aurora Chuck E. Cheese in 1993. But Governor John Hickenlooper stopped the execution by granting a reprieve. A Colorado district attorney says prosecuting a death penalty case, including trial and appeals, costs $18 million. Kinslow and Ottoby say that money should be used elsewhere. Unfortunately, I don't think they use the death penalty enough. There's they're on death row too long with too many appeals, and it puts the family through too much. There are currently three people on death row. The same fate could await two more accused killers. We asked Governor Hickenlooper's office about his position on the death penalty. His office issued this statement. The death penalty is an option for district attorneys to pursue and is still the law in, of Colorado. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13. Thanks, Emily. And Jay